Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about Amazon product research methodology for 2022. Uh, let's start it. Uh, whenever we talk about product research, we kind of split it into two parts. The first one is product ideation. The second one is product evaluation. Like in the first one, you are generating ideas from Blackbox, Helium 10 or AliExpress or YouTube videos or blogs such kind of things and in the second part we do evaluation on uh, multiple parameters to see if the product is viable enough for us to launch or not let's talk about the product ideation methodology today uh, we have seen some very common methods in the market to do uh, the product ideation step like uh, helium 10 black box the very famous method you put a certain number of parameters in the black box and it generates the result but the issue here is, is it generates kind of same kind of result for everyone who has purchased and is using helium 10 then in the second way uh, like or let's say you are typing best products in pets niche in 2022 or best products in sports and sports niche in 2022 google is going to show kind of same results uh, for everyone who's typing such kind of keywords there are almost i would say uh, maybe six, between 6 to 15 buzz keywords like the best, trending, famous, uh, upcoming, uh, such kind of keywords uh, with which you can find these relevant blogs which are sharing trending new products. But the thing is, it is kind of exposed to everyone. Everyone can do that. Um, then there is another method like someone someone says uh, you see household things in your surrounding in your house in your office uh, at your gathering area and you would find some products but the issue here is uh, everyone has kind of similar household stuff and these uh, things or these methods were very useful or popular in maybe 2018, 19, 20, but down the road uh, in 2021, 2022, uh, things are getting very much competitive, especially products which are hunted through these common methods. Now, uh, we all know whatever is trending, uh, it is it can be easily seen in the brand analytics search terms. And uh, yes, brand analytics does have some great keywords hidden here because anything, if it has demand on Amazon, if it's being already sold on Amazon, then its system is available in the uh, Amazon brand analytics. Uh, I have done a little working at the back end. Like I have seen, I have compared the search volume of a keyword uh, or a search term which has SFR around 50,000. And then SFR of keywords, uh, which are around 2000, 3000, then I have kind of realized, um, I would say a generic range, but the search volume of these SFR, uh, the search terms of these F SFR uh, fall between, you can say, 6,000 search volume to 60 to 70,000 search volume, which is commonly fine with most of the people looking to hunt a product. The better, the, the higher the search volume, the better. Like uh, just uh, out of the way advice, but it's far much better to launch a product in a niche or uh, launch a product which has higher search volume as compared to that one, which has very low search volume because low search volume products, uh, you need to struggle to stay or or maintain your ranks on the top sports if you want to get the sales really while in the higher search volume products you can always uh, get sales by hanging over the middle or, or bottom of the first page or even on the second page that's the advantage you get but again coming back to the topic uh, today i'm going to share this product ideation uh, sheet which i use in my agency and uh, all my teammates save a lot of their time uh, by hunting through this methodology and the other thing is they come up with some very unique products which you won't be able to find if you are hunting through aliexpress or let's say alibaba or blogs or videos or black box because everyone has defined parameter for black box like i need rating below this i need search volume above this and it's more or less going to get similar range of products so let's uh, jump on to this method and see how it works.
Okay, so let's start the process and I'm going to guide you step by step. So if you want to recreate the sheet, you can easily do that. But the good thing is I'm going to share the link of the ready-made sheet in the description of this video below. So you can simply download the sheet, put the search term range. Let's say you want to use uh, it on the search terms, maybe between um, 500 to 5,000 or let's say between 10,000 to 20,000 or you want to use it on multiple sets between 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. You can easily copy paste that data and use the sheet accordingly. But uh, right now I'm going to show you from scratch how we are going to do it. Uh, so even if you want to recreate the sheet, you can easily do that. Let's, let's uh, start over the process. I'm going here the brand, then here the brand analytics. In the brand analytic, I'm going to select the reporting range as monthly. And uh, if you need to hunt products for the UK market, definitely you need to uh, download the brand analytic system of Amazon UK. If you need to hunt for Germany, then you need to do that for Germany. And same is for US. I'm doing here for the US right now and uh, clicking on the apply button. And then after that, I'm going to download it as CSV. After downloading the sheet, I am going to get all these columns in the Excel sheet, like from the search term till the third click asset. So here is the sheet downloaded and I have deleted all these first, second, third click asset columns to make it look easy and simple. Now I'm going to apply the filter here and after applying the filter, um, I need to put the custom filter here. Here is the number filter. Now, just to clear things, I'm using uh, WPS software here because it's free and very easy to download. Uh, nothing to promote or no affiliate charges here hidden for me. Uh, so putting the number filter here, I need to put the custom filter. And for the custom filter, I need to, I'm going to apply here. Um, search frequency rank is greater than, let's say 499 and less than. 50,000. So going to put the filter here. Another thing is uh, uh, the last feature in which we are going to change the search terms very quickly. Uh, that does not work for me uh, in the Google sheet. I tried a couple of times, but it could not and couldn't find an alternate. But here in WPS, that's damn easy to use. So I would recommend you to use this uh, or down, when you download, open this sheet on WPS office or if you are going to recreate it yourself, then use WPS. Now I'm going to, um, I don't need to copy the department type. Uh, I'm going to copy these two columns in the new sheet and paste it here. Okay, so let's start the manual random work. I'm going to put random here. Here is the rank. And then in the random, the formula is simple R A N D. Sorry, click and enter, press to enter again. It has assigned a random number. Now at the green um, box, I just need to zoom in it as well to make sure that it is clear. Now at the green box at the right corner, I'm going to double click and it has uh, filled all the cells below. In the rank, I'm going to put a simple formula here, rank EQ. And in rank EQ, the number I want is this and comma, and I'm going to select this column. Here is the rank. Uh, double click on this uh, small box at the right bottom and it has filled all the cells below. Now here, uh, this is uh, my sheet of random search terms is, is getting ready. First, second, third, fourth and then after fourth and after this fourth column i'm going to drag it to the right side and it's filled to the tenth position now here are a couple of complex formulas it is your match and in the match a lookup value i'm going to put a random uh, lookup value which is one and then lookup array is this rank and uh, 
by pressing F4, this rank, this value is getting fixed. It is getting locked here. I have pressed F4 value here, then comma, then zero. Zero is the matchup type. I need the fixed value here. So it has assigned or given us a random rank value here. Like uh, it, it, it says here simply that at the uh, 42,938th row, the number one is at, at that particular row, but we don't need to know about it. Just going to change the formula here. Uh, I'm typing index and after index, uh, selecting the first um, column, fixing it by pressing F4 and then comma, and then at the end, uh, closing the bracket here. So it has uh, given us the equivalent uh, search term, which is in that random row. And uh, now I'm going to do another thing. Copy this formula here, escape. And in here I have entered uh, the formula position and then uh, instead of A, I am selecting the B column here. So it can show equivalent SFR rank uh, against the search term and we can analyze what is the SFR or we can estimate um, what's going to be or what is actually the search volume of this particular search term. Um, after this, just going just putting a simple formula here columns in columns first and now i need to click here particularly putting the dollar sign it it is uh, going to fix this uh, cell then semicolon and again selecting the this first cell enter now when i'm when i'm uh, dragging this up it is showing number from first to 10. And one thing which we need to do here is copy this. Now, um, click this option G1 here. And instead of one, uh, I'm removing one and going to uh, paste that value which we copied before. Here it is. Now uh, just drag this and the drag at the bottom as well. And uh, just stretch these cells. Uh, I need to remove this as well. Just a second. Copy this here and escape. And here in place of one, I'm going to paste this. Okay, and drag it till the end. Now all these uh, search terms have relevant uh, SFR value mentioned below. Like this is the leg warmers 1687. And uh, this search frequency rank is, is ranked from down to up in sequence. If I go to the 1687 here, this is 1687 and is it is showing leg warmers now it kind of confirms that the sfr value being shown here is uh, completely correct and here we need to start the working just to uh, give you a simple idea uh, now you don't need to do the effort uh, by yourself i'm going to put a link below where you can download this sheet but you definitely need to know what has been done here so you can simply copy paste that or recreate that now i'm going to press the f9 button and here it is changing all the random values what we need to do here you need to make a simple sop list for example uh, do not pick brand names from here do not pick um let's say toiletries like soaps shampoos etc from here do not pick makeup do not pick clothes do not pick uh, shoes you can make a list of all those systems which are not supposed to be picked up by your va mention all that list and assign this work to anyone 
uh, who can simply press the F9 button and find out all these or type all those search terms uh, along with their SFR, which is which does not fall in that particular SOP, which you mentioned, like, you know, no makeup, no uh, clothing, no shoes, etc. A whole list of uh, search terms which you need to avoid. So you are going to find a great number of search terms uh, from this method in contrast to all the blogs and the uh, uh, YouTube videos. Let's let's run the show and see how does it work. Here is this thing, groceries we need to avoid, pellet gun, uh, maybe restricted from Amazon side, mask N95, very common, gift cards envelope, we can note it down. And then uh, all these are socks, clothing, Nikon brand, Christmas is a generic keyword. And let's press the F9 again. Uh, slot machine, we need to see what is what is it is. Uh, men robe, then again, we can consider, or if you want to put that in clothing part, let's avoid this. Costume, clothing, uh, steer threads, gold candle holders, we can note it down. And then uh, coffee tumbler, we can consider it. Uh, this is generic keyword supervised, generic outfit, generic Christmas outfit, generic. Didn't have any relevant good keyword here. Checkers board game, we can note it down. Uh, hair gel kind of uh, it comes up under do a cover. We can check this out. Uh, and then bags, we can check this out as well. Barber accessories. Now, when you're going to type barber accessories, uh, um, so like hairdressing scissor or hair thinning scissor, such kind, or maybe the barber razor, such kind of things are going to appear under the search term, and you can analyze each search term individually. And this is generic keyword diamond dots. We can definitely check this clothing animal, generic generic snow scraper for car. Now the thing is. Let's say if you are not a hunting guy, you're never going to get attention towards those particular hunting tools. Or if you're living in an area where you don't need to scrap snow from the car, then you won't ever look for such kind of uh, products. That's the beauty of this uh, method. Uh, if Let's say if you, if you are not exposed to farming, you are never, never going to hunt. Uh, such kind of search terms which have potential on Amazon but are related to the farming field. That's the beauty of this method that you are going to get exposed to all such search terms uh, which are profitable and uh, or which have potential to launch a product on in, in that particular line. But uh, you were not exposed to such fields in life. And that's why you have never explored such keywords. So it will divert your attention towards that hidden side of products, uh, which you could not explore because you were always looking uh, the product in your surrounding. For example, here, bed spreads. I don't know, maybe we can check that. This is a generic wall clock. Clocks, uh, not sure about going after it. Uh, this is a generic keyword, kitchen knife sharpener. We can definitely look over it and rest is generic. Now in the next thing, um, bike pedals. Yeah, the bikers, only the bikers will uh, get attention towards such kind of search terms. Uh, portable crib. This is also a potential search term. And then teapot maybe. Uh, so you can simply set uh sops regarding what to pick and what not to pick like uh, people don't usually go into the clothing into the shoes uh you you can simply make sops and assign this task uh, to a virtual assistant who can do all the labor work for you and who can find out some potential 50 60 maybe 100 such terms and then you can evaluate those such terms uh based upon the working i've created an other video where i've explained how to analyze uh, helium 10 x-ray data to see if that particular product has gap to enter in the market or not the link of that video is also in the description below you can see that and uh, that is most probably the next step after you find any potential search term from this method hope it helps see you soon in the next video thank you